Hey there cats and kitties, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming film Mr. Holmes starring Ian McKellen for which there was a trailer recently released as of the time of this recording and uh, this trailer has really got my interest peaked. I haven't done a lot of reading about what this film is going to be about but the gist that I get from this particular trailer has me just all kinds of excited because I am a self-professed Sherlockian. I've read all of the uh, original Sir Arthur Conan Doyle canon at least twice over some of those stories I've gone over, you know, three, four, and five times because I've enjoyed them so much. I've read some of the spin-off material and uh, like the Nicholas Meyer trilogy of novels as well as I've seen a lot of these different adaptations of the character from the cartoon. There was a sort of sci-fi steampunk cartoon at one point and uh, movies and such like that, the uh, RDJ films and everything. The only aspect of Sherlock Holmes that I really haven't delved into, and there are other movies I haven't seen, uh, but is the Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock series. That's something I really want to be able to get to at some point in the future. Um, but the thing that most compels me about this particular trailer and what the story is going to be about as taken from this trailer is Ian McKellen is playing an aged Sherlock Holmes. You know, uh, he's basically calling back on a cold case, a case he, I guess, never solved. And I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning behind that is. Um, not sure what the case involves, whether it's somebody who was murdered or had gone missing. Uh, you know, it, it basically what calls into question for me by watching this trailer is, you know, Sherlock Holmes is supposed to be this uh, very sort of mentalistic character, you know. Uh, he's very cerebral. He can break down the fundamentals of crime and criminology through sort of perceiving things on a level that, you know, the average person's brain just can't. And, uh, you know, with time being of the essence and sort of becoming older and older and older, He's becoming his own worst enemy in that he's losing that cohesion. He, he's losing that ability to perhaps perceive the world as critically and as logically as he once did. Uh, to the point in this trailer, we're seeing that he's kind of taken under his wing this young boy who admires him and who's familiar with his history and such like that, wants to learn more about him, interact with him, ask him questions about his cases and adventures and stuff. And uh, this boy... He's had to take to writing down the boy's name, I think it's Roger or something like that, on his shirt sleeve and go about manufacturing ways with which to, uh, you know, he's moving stuff all around on his desk or what have you, to pull out his shirt sleeve enough to know how to reference the boy, what the boy's name is. And so we're seeing a breakdown of his mentality. And the reason why, even though we're given some information about what, you know, this case involves, I call it into question because how much of this story might be delving into the idea of dementia and, uh, you know, the breakdown of his, you know, logical sort of, uh, capabilities and such like that and that just absolutely compels me now for those familiar with the uh, Sherlock Holmes stories there is a story that's penned by Holmes himself uh, it's sort of like his last story that he's recollecting back on uh, it's been some time since he was with uh, Watson and everything like that and uh, I think Watson may have even died at that point I'm not exactly sure I haven't read the story in a while uh, but it talks about him having bees and everything which is something we see as a quotient in this particular trailer and uh, it's his last years and I find that very interesting the idea of this potential for mental breakdown and with age and time passing and everything like that uh, will this case prove to be a success if he goes back over it is there even something to it is he perhaps remembering it incorrectly you know all of these things come into question and I just find so many potential avenues they could explore along those lines that I'm primped at the edge of my seat for it as a Sherlock Holmes fan. And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below if you've seen the trailer. If not, check it out. It will be linked in the description below. Come back and let me know what you thought of it. But if you have seen the trailer already, whether you are a Sherlock Holmes fan or not, uh, be it based on the Cumberbatch series or any number of uh, other incarnations you've encountered of this particular character, let me know what you thought of the film. Does it have you as excited? Uh, can you perceive the potential in a story uh, as it's being set up in this particular trailer or is it something that you'll gladly pass uh you know anything goes in the comments below along those lines and so yeah otherwise uh, that's pretty much going to be it for me on this i'm just really stoked for this movie and uh hope this video finds you well and i'll catch you all later peace